So I'm sure lots of you have been practicing your handstands already with your friends, but I'm gonna show you a few top tips to get a really impressive handstand. So the first step of learning a good handstand is making sure you can hold the position lying down. So girls, what we're gonna start with today is we're gonna lie down on our stomachs and we're gonna show that nice tight shapes ready for our handstand. So our arms up nice and tall. You can see Freya's got her flat hands, girls. Look at this. Freya's got flat hands as if she was on the floor and they're pushing away from the floor, which creates a very nice, what we like to call turtle back. So once you've mastered that, it's then about moving on and putting some weight on the hands through a tuck position. And the girls are gonna pop their knees up on the side. And this really can be done on a step or on the side of your sofa. And their hands on the floor and again, what you can see they're doing really nicely at is they're shrugging all the way up and pushing the floor away from them, which creates a very stable platform to then balance. It's really important when you're first learning a handstand, you find a space that's big enough and safe enough to complete it. Georgie's gonna kick up to a handstand and I'm gonna act as either a parent or a friend and hold her. I'm just helping her find her own balance and I can even just lightly tap her so she's doing most of the work and I'm just helping. So it's really important when holding a friend that you stand side on to them and you hold them up near the top of their legs. So once you've mastered that step, it's now about trying to hold it on your own and hold it for a long time. It's all about the fingers. We like to call these spider fingers. What we're doing is the girl's hands are out nice and wide, the fingertips are spread and then they grip the floor with the top of their fingertips. This helps them really grip and stay in control. So here you have it, three beautiful handstands. <laughs>